and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me, Grey Hunter. Well, last time we took land and created the Kingdom of Italy. Hooray! Now we can finally get our hands on Ferrara. I've got the Chancellor still trying to get some claims on it, because I'd like to take it all in one swell, you know, one gulp, but can't do it. Not yet. Because you aren't doing your job, you damn fool. Do your job, or I'll replace you with someone better, if I have someone better. I have someone better. But he's stressed. Why is he so good? Ah, fabulous feast. Okay, so how much does he actually get from that? He gets seven. So he's actually not that good anyway. Okay. Who's next good? Next good? Did I really just say that? I really did just say that. Who is the next best? I meant. That would be you. Fabulous feasting. Who's your heir? This lady. Who's her heir? Ah. Good. Even if he is a shitty, shitty, shitty person, it gives me somebody to give the Kingdom of Croatia to later. Sweetness? Okay. So, we were engaged in a war with the Mongol guy. Because I want my land back, damn it. And Humbert of Upper Burgundy is already helping out with that. He must have done a independent war. Oh yeah, he did. Solid effort. Well, we will go help you. So that means we can't declare our own war until, um... Well, we can't declare another war until this one is over. Because of raised levies. But that's okay, that gives our, ti our uh, retinue time to regenerate a little bit. We can get some more fellas. Uh, let's get some more skirmishes. We can get one more. Yeah, yeah, one more is good. And these two can just march. They'll get there in time, eventually. Let's do speeding up. Cool. Um, I don't remember doing that. Oh wait, yes I do. Yes I do. Now I remember. Um, oubliette. That's pretty much the solution to everything. Come on, get over there. I think because he's in charge, He'll order an assault. No? Oh. Oh, he must be heading off to get the other guy. So it will assault. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh yeah, because this fella has more territory than just this. That makes sense. So are we fighting a holy war or a, du or a du jour one? A du jour one. The Pope has excommunicated Aldbert of Burgundy. Okay. And some people died. Damn. How old are you? You're 34. How old am I? 59. Yeah. Raymond is probably going to be a fairly young ruler. As long as Nathaniel dies early-ish. Which he might. I'm not sure if I'll die. Oh, I've got the customization thing on. Oh well. Not a big deal. That's not really all that functional, that customization DLC thing. The only thing that I would actually want to customize is if I got a stupid haircut. Oh, hell yes. Good job, dude. Okay. Now I think that that claim becomes inheritable. As long as we push it. So does your... I need this as well. You can't move yet. Ah. When can you move? The 6th of September. So in a few days. Well done. And there. Good. Get me another claim. Actually, I just want to check. Can I declare for the whole thing? I can't find out yet. Need to finish this war first. Um, they should be able to do that. Yeah, they'll manage it. And then we might be able to just simply assault this thing. Yeah, it's got a fairly small garrison. Uh, we have improved our diplomacy. Hooray! We are now more diplomatic. Useful, considering that we're going to be ruling an empire. Now, I'm tempted to go next for the, uh... Oh. Well, that's a damn shame. I'm tempted to go next for the... He might surrender to me now. 
No? Not willing to surrender. Okay then. What else do you own? Volhynia. Where is that? Where is that? Where are you? Oh. Really? That's annoying. Do you have any troops I can raise? Yes, you have 11,000. That is a good number. Go forth. Yeah, we'll go on a cross-country march. Going that way is stupid. Go this way. I don't care if you take losses. Yeah. Actually, go here first. Then go here. Then go there. No. You're not doing it right. Go here. Then go here. Then go here. Then go here. And then finally go there. God damn it, game. It tries to do it so that you don't... Ooh, really? It tries to do it so you don't take all that many losses as you uh, march to wherever it is you're going to, but I really don't care. We've got so many troops that it doesn't make any difference. I will take those odds. Cheers. Now stop claiming my land, you annoying pagans. It's my land. The Pope has removed the excommunication on the Duke of Champagne. Great. I don't care. And are you... Yeah, you're Upper Burgundy. Presumably you're attaching yourself to me. Or something. I don't know. Are you sure you don't want to surrender? Because it would... Okay. If you're sure. Now what are you guys doing? You're fighting a civil war of some sort. You're fighting a holy war and... A Waldenesian uprising. So why is Austria independent? Oh, I see. That's why. Well, good luck with your war. Have fun. Um, why be hassled about life? You know, that's a fair point, but I'm gonna go with, uh, what about the enjoyment? There we go. Now she's lustful. Not too bad. She's actually not that bad as a daughter. She'll probably be a good ruler for the duchy. Hopefully. The... Count of Toledo accepted the Prince of Aragon's peace offer. What? Oh, did you take Toledo? Probably. Yeah, he's probably revoking it from him. The Duke of Salerno has died, and his son has inherited. Good Norman lad. Excellent. really should surrender, dude. If you're willing to surrender now. No, nope, still not willing to surrender, because he's an idiot. Oh well. We will go and we will kill him. The child likes the guardian. Ah, the good son. Can I educate you? I can. The very good son. I'm tempted to kill the other ones just so he's in charge. But it's not that big of a deal. I, I don't know. I like the challenge of having a dodgy ruler every once in a while. King Henry has inherited the Kingdom of Aragon. Okay, well he's Norman, he's, Cath he's Norman and Catholic. He's not got a guardian right this second. So let's get him a guardian. A good one. Uh, we'll give him the Duke of Galicia. There we go. And patience is a virtue. Gets you pluses in almost everything, so yes. Be patient, Gerard. Oh, that is a good stat line. For a six-year-old kid, that's pretty damn good. Alright. How are our friends not coming to help us? The German populace... Oh, good. We converted it already, that was quick. Are other places around it converted? Yeah. Cool. Nice. That's a bit disappointing, though, that the Mongols have actually converted places over here. They converted here? How are you Mongol? You're not. Hmm. Well, we conquered it from them, so... I guess that makes sense. Uh... Oh, he's going on a holy war spree. I see. Well, that is good. Let it be so. 
You've got a, yeah, you've got a 61.2k supply limit. Perfect. Those guys can stay there. Who are you? Oh, you're the, uh, the army of the Hetman. Have I got troops around here that I can raise? The Breton Band. Oh, they're just there. Right, okay. I get ya. Did I raise your troops already? No. You haven't got enough, though. What about the Duke of Modena? Yes. Okay, if I raise the both of you, you've got enough. I could probably get Tuscan troops too, yeah. Gimme. And march all of them to Savoy. Unless he's willing to take peace? No, still not willing to take peace. You damn fool! Oh well, not my problem. See, why couldn't my... Why couldn't Raymond be Midas touched? That is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, you need to marry Matrilina Lee. Uh, let's see. Is there anyone good? Eh, there's a few people that aren't too bad in this list. Let's go with... What's she bad at? She's not so fantastic at intrigue. So let's go with high intrigue people. You're Norse. Oh no, you're not. You're Catholic. You're the Marshal of Orkney. But he's better. So the Deceit Grave Boy. Go. Become married. Bizarre. Okay, so did he come? Yeah, he came to our court. Good. Now she's lost full, and I think he is... No, he's not. But he's very, very good at everything except stewardship, so they should have some very good children. Well, if all goes well. Which in Crusader Kings 2, it's never guaranteed to. We've got more knowledge of stuff. Actually, speaking of knowledge, how long until we can get that? Eh, not long. Culture advances. Noble customs versus majesty and tolerance. Um... Majesty. I like Majesty. Majesty, majesty is a good one. Um, hmm. We need that. Why is that ticking? Oh, I see. Increase. Um, castle infrastructure. That wouldn't be too bad, but I'd like to get improved keeps first. Hmm. Oh, we're getting plenty of points for that anyway, so let's go with castle infrastructure. Means we can upgrade stuff quicker. Which is always a plus. Come on, hurry up and get there. Now, hopefully, he's going to go over here and try to assault it so we can catch up with him and kick his ass. Uh, why did she... Oh, she's a heretic. Good job, son. Well, nephew. Nephew person. I do want to get him a kingdom, though. I want to give him um, Castile if we can. Oh, suddenly you have more people. Did you call in an ally? No. Oh, it's just counting them as being there. I think. Um, blackmail them. I have no idea who they are, but why not? All right, get over here. I think that can sometimes get you a little bit of money. Not that we need it, but it's the, f it's the thought that counts. Assault! Give me back my land, you damn fool. Thank you. My land. We'll just disband these guys here. I know somebody's going to be going, No, you don't need to do that. You're, you're losing troops. You're losing troops. Um, don't care. They're not my troops. They're not my personal troops. So it's not important. <laughs> okay. So let's see. We've got two baronies still in uh, De Jure Gallia, I think, that we don't own. We've got one here. I think one here, yeah. Who do you belong to? Who do you swear fealty to? The King of Bohemia. He's not the heir. So if we killed this guy, 
could probably force a succession crisis. Can we declare war on him without being a truce breaker? No. Okay, in that case, I want to kill him. If we're trying to assassinate, we have 28% chance, 35% chance of being discovered. Better than nothing. Kill him! Oh, hey! Nice! Okay, so Kaiser Adam I is up on the throne. It should break their realm up into a civil war any second now. I hope. I think, I hope, maybe. If we're lucky, it will. We could also... Hmm. I want to see if we can declare war for the whole damn thing. I don't think so. Yeah, we've got jure claims on places, but we can't declare a war for um, for the place straight up. We have to declare war for each bit. So I'm going to hold on and hope that our Chancellor can get another claim. So if he can get two of them, that's fine, because then we can use up the duchy. And then we can... Uh, the usurpation of the duchy is what I really want to do, because then we can give it to somebody else and they might go off and declare war on their own. But these guys might also rebel at some point and then we can just snap them up. So we'll try and claim the barony of Montbelliard. That one. Done. Okay, you guys need to go fight. We should be able to blitzkrieg them. From where we are and if we win we might cause a civil war to start so that's good enough for me kill a jihad for persia the sunni caliph has declared a jihad on the depraved heathens of the kingdom of persia high chief odagai of the hamadan for the glory of islam is persia a kingdom right now no oh okay he's declaring for the bits of it that that guy owns. I didn't think they were a kingdom. Yes, thank you. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Now this is also good because we can soften up the uh, the target that we're going to try and take later. We're already at 33% war score. Uh, let's go here actually because they're already under siege. And I don't think we'll be able to attack it ourselves and take it. So we'll do this instead. We could try and claim the war goal, I guess. How many troops can you raise? 7,000? Yeah. Why not? Uh, how many can you raise? Eh, that's not bad. Thank you. Good enough. Get over there. We probably won't assault it, but if we can uh, besiege it, that'll be worth it. These places are all fairly weak, though. Okay. Uh, let's hit Mantua next. Nope. No treatment. You die. You die in my dungeon. That's what everyone does. The Pope has lifted the excommunication of the Count of Carrick. Who is Norman? Good. A lot of our vassals are Norman. Which will be beneficial if I ever convert the end save over to uh, EU4. Which I might. Count Adolf the Terrible has usurped the title County of Apritium from Elizabeth the Canusa. Okay. That doesn't really make much difference to me. Because he can't really declare independence. What's he going to do? Hmm. I could make the Republic of Ancona again, but I won't bother. I'll leave it alone for now. Now, I see an army coming up behind us, or at least I did, before this autosave and the victory window popped up. Oh, it's just a Lombard thing. Not a big deal. Adolf the Terrible. Well done, Adolf. Solid effort. You are now the Duke of Spoleto. Are you happy? Do you feel special? That does absolutely nothing. Not really. Okay, combine up. I might have them assault... A rather heated discussion between myself and the stable master caught Bertrand's attention, and after listening to us both, he settled the matter between me and the stable master in a fair way. I got the horse, and the stable master got the coin. Well done, Bertrand. You're an old man. You're gonna die. 
Are you willing to surrender? Jolly good. Thank you. Alright. So we picked up another bit of Dujur Gallia. I think we've already got all the other bits. Just check my notes. Yes, we have all the other bits except for this one over here. Orbanas. And apparently I haven't uh, got one in Amalfi. My notation there is correct. And Pisa owns these? Pisa. Don't make me fight you. I'll do it. Well, if you don't get your ass kicked first. You can offer him vassalization. I am a king. Yes, but you're also Italian. You should, you know, be happy to be my... Damn you. Okay. It's Agnatic Gavelkind. So does that eliminate... I don't know. Can we declare war for the stuff you've got? No. You've only got two of our places, though. So it might be worth it. What are you doing, Castile? Oh, you're not doing anything. It's just somebody having a fight. Hmm. Do we have a claim on Castile or anything like that? No. We've got a county claim on a city. But that's not important. We don't need to push that. Oh, hey! <laughs> they were sending an army to try and take me on. Well, that went well, didn't it? Really? Peasant revolts? Oh, damn it. It's a fairly hefty peasant revolt, though. Give me all your men. And give me all your men, too. They're going to need them. Alright, unload over there. I know, it's just a short voyage, but it's worth it. Simon has become Midas Touched. He's not that bad, actually. Uh, we'll marry him off to... Duchess of Saxony, really? Hmm. I don't know, it might be worth it. The Duchess of Apulia, though. She's not a bad match. Yeah, let's go for the Duchess of Apulia. She'll accept a non matrilineal marriage because she likes us. Great. I just have to remember not to uh, automatically click accept when she sends back a proposal when she comes of age. Because otherwise she'll go, haha, tricked you, now you're marrying matr matrilineally. Uh, he's honest a good one for what he's got. It's not bad. He could get deceitful. Nah, no, let's go with honest. Honest is always good. Wow. That... That was really quick. Cool. We're just absorbing them into everything. Nice. Good. Our culture will spread across the world. Uh, we will give them 800 gold. Again? Okay, here, have 800 gold. Robert de Orléans. You did it again. You killed another one of them. Oh, damn it, woman. Stop doing it. Um, okay. Let's see, what about... Somebody who's good at Marshall. There, Wyman will do. There, congratulations. Now you'll be married. Great. He's arrived at my court. Stuff has happened. Now, I would like to try and complete our lands here. I'm going to... We cannot declare war if we have raised levies. Oh, right, yeah. That's right, we do, don't we? I am a silly person. Constantine has converted. Cool. And you have lost your war. Surrender now! Actually, if you'll take a white piece, I'm happy to give you that. Yeah, that'll do. Because I need to get back on the warpath. Warpath being the path to Venice. Declare war for Dalmatia? Is this Dalmatia? I think so. Uh, Dejur Duchies. Yes. 
Okay, good. Holy War for Dalmatia. Fantastical. Now, I need boats. Need more boats. And even more boats. Come on, one of you had a ton of boats. You do. And Tunis does too, doesn't it? Thank you. Boaty, boaty boats. I think that'll be enough. Yeah, 797. That'll be enough. Let us go! Raiders under the High Priest of Fajer have looted... Oh. Well, I don't care. It's not my land. Uh, the forest is not big enough for the barons. They demand hunting rights on church lands after chasing all the game to the church's side of the forest. <laughs> you fools! Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Let them hunt or stay on your side of the forest. Well, he really likes me. They both really like me. So, yes, you may hunt on church land. Hooray. Peasant revolt is over. Now you guys need to go to war. Right, on the boat. And then I'll probably keep these boats raised and go after the bits of Jerusalem and uh, Antioch that we don't currently own because these guys aren't in a civil war right this second. Oh, good job, Bernard. Hell yeah. Go, do it. Take Diameter. Are you fighting for the duchy or for the... I don't know. I can't see what his war goal is. That's the one thing that I don't like about this, is that you can't really see what the war goal is unless you're actually involved in the war itself. Which obviously we're not. Do you guys own anything else? Do you own roads? No. No, the Golden Hall owns roads. Oh, you own a city there. Right. Well, that makes sense. Now, we should be able to ambush them. It's going to arrive on the 3rd of July. If we jumped off the boat now, I think we'd get there first. You are a champion. Yes, you are. Go, get Ravenna for me as well. We'll put off the Holy War, I think. Damn it. Right, back onto the boat and then we'll do it again. Huzzah! Surprise, you son of a bitch. Uh, a son was born to Gifford to Seagrave. Why do I get to name the kid? Oh right, you can uh, you can name grandkids, can't you? In this, with the uh, with the customizer. Um, Adeline's a good name. That's right, because they'd always give them stupid names. But with this, you can stop them from doing that. So there you go, that's one advantage. 100%. Thank you, surrender. Okay, so now you're king. You're proper king king. So if I removed... If I killed you... Would you become a theocracy? Maybe. I don't know. But I do know that I don't need this, so... Let's get rid of that. Are you willing to surrender to us? Vassalization? Yeah, cool. Okay, I'll hold on to that and then I'll give it to the this guy. Nathaniel has become a brilliant strategist. Well done. Okay, you need a good soldier wife. Um, the Duchess of Saxony is tempting. She's Cathar. Would she accept it anyway? She would. Okay. Whatever. The Lords of Venice have approved the institution of medium crown authority law. Hmm. And he is left to go to Saxony. Right. I forgot about that because she's landed. She gets him. But where is Saxony exactly? Where's her land? Her land is... where? Oh, here. And she's fighting against... Oh, they are in a civil war. They're just not in a very productive civil war for me. I need to get rid of you. People aren't really actually all that happy to kill you. Okay. Well, I'll give this guy a little bit of time. Oh, but if I... hang on. Yeah, they're not, they're not going to...